Rafida. He called them that, a, a title of respect. In one transmission, he says, play your game so that the Jews and Christians know that there is ampleness in our Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't you know, forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reaction videos. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, feel free to leave the link in the description box and we'll actually look into it. Other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny NGC 2.0. You can head there and I mean, it's just a different type of enjoyment that we post there. You can enjoy the content here and also enjoy the other content on the other side. And we post on this channel, we post every day. On the other channel, we post every Saturday or Sunday provided we have time. And we've also got other things that we do. You can find us on Patreon, Fanny and Jesse. So feel free to become a member on podcast. You can find us on iTunes or Podbean by the name Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You can find us on social media, Fanny and Jesse on Facebook, Fanny and Jesse on Instagram. If I'm forgetting anything, you can go to the um, description box and you'll find the links there. And I also write from time to time. So if you like to read, you can check out my blog on WordPress, Blue and on blogger morning coffee with funny like i said in my past videos i need to start posting i just need to find the time and just arrange myself for and i'll start posting i hope you guys are doing all right a big shout out to the people that watch our stuff like our stuff share our stuff interact with us and keep subscribing thank you that you guys keep on subscribing you guys are the best and a big shout out to each and every one of you especially the people that comment you just you make our channel live. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and thank you very much. So as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to how the Prophet Muhammad treated black Africans. I've seen this in the comments below. Someone suggested it, but this time around we got a link and we're actually reacting to this. So I'm excited to see what this is about. Before, I'm not even thinking of judging before the video, so I can't even guess what it's about. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Prophet ﷺ taught us to respect different cultures. And I want to give you the example of the sons of Arafida, Banu Arafida. And these are hadith in Bukhari and Muslim and other sources. But uh, Banu Arafida is a very beautiful way of saying Ethiopians. So these were Ethiopians, and they were Ethiopians who had become Muslims in the wake of the first Hijra, which, as you know, was to Ethiopia, to Abyssinia. And then when Ja'far al-Tayyar came to Medina, they came with him, and they loved the Prophet. And they loved Islam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they loved Islam. And after fasting a glorious month of Ramadan, can you imagine what that would have been like? Fasting with the Prophet in his mosque. Then when Eid came, they could not contain themselves. So they got out their drums, and they got out their swords, and they got out their spears. And in the mosque, they began to dance and sing and beat their drums and do spear dances and sword dances. And the Prophet ﷺ intervened and he said, play your games, O sons of Arafida. He called them that, a, a title of respect. In one transmission, he says, play your games so that the Jews and Christians know that there is ampleness in our religion. So they continued to dance in the mosque and he brought our beloved mother Aisha and put her on his shoulders so that she could watch. And she watched and watched until she was so tired. And then he let her go. She went back. So this is very important, isn't it? You don't have to have a commentary. But one of the things it means is that Africans will remain Africans. Because they become Muslims does not mean they have to become Arabs they will be respected as Africans and their culture will be respected. And again, this is the way that we would be as we went through the world. Just 
after that's it <laughs> is there at least a 10 minutes video that you guys can suggest that i can finish watching t uh watching i finish watching this otherwise this was quite interesting i mean you don't have to break the bank to become something that's why they're saying at the end of the day it doesn't matter where you're coming from your culture will still be respected you are you you're still funny funny from africa just because you're converting doesn't mean you're no longer african or you're no longer that funny from zambia or wherever you are culture will always be a part of us but choosing to be part of something greater as well doesn't take anything away from you it just even enhances your i guess qualities however you guys want to put it otherwise this was interesting if you guys have something to say about this please let us know in the comment section below we can converse it and whatever the case is otherwise i think it was interesting first time i've come across this and a big shout out to the person that actually suggested this um like i said let me know and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video